What team's going to be in the final playoff spot, Finn Harps or Shells? Let's find out. What's going on guys and welcome back to LOI TV. In today's video we are going to be doing our final day uh, scoreline predictions between all, all five games. Um, obviously going to be focusing on at the end who's going to be in the final relegation playoff spot which is the big talking point on um, in the final game of the season. So yeah, it's going to jump straight into it, talking about the first game, obviously Cork playing host to Derry. Derry are currently playing, as I'm filming this video, away at Shamrock Rovers. It's currently, um, it is currently 1-0 to Shamrock Rovers after 80 minutes. So I assume Shamrock Rovers will see it out from there. If Derry had won that game, they would be still in with a chance for top four, but obviously they're losing. So it does, looks like they will be um, just kind of finishing mid table. Disappointing season for them. Um, any Derry fans, let me know what you thought of, of what you thought of the season down below. But uh, yeah, disappointing from Derry. I expected more from them to be honest. Um, moving on to the, the home side, Cork. I'm absolutely gutted to see Cork go down. Um, really, really big club. Belongs in the Premier Division. Needs to be fighting for titles, fighting for cups, and uh, losing every week. And it's just not Cork City. It's a Cork City is a huge club, and it's a big part of. Um, of our, they're a big part of Irish football so uh, they'll be, they will of course bounce back but it's a huge shame and I'm, I'm absolutely devastated to see them going down to be honest I'm a bit, I'm a, probably be one of my one of my more favourite sides in the league a uh, big fan of going down to Cork and stuff like that so yeah it's a big disappointment uh, not going to talk too much about the, the situation down there um, I think I'm going to do a separate video on uh, on Cork City kind of like the rise and fall maybe something like that little documentary style thing I'm um, going to try, try and do something along those lines just to have a look and see what what went wrong at Cork City? Um, I, yeah, as obviously Derry are losing at the moment to Shamrock Rovers, so it looks like it's going to be an absolutely nothing fixture. It means nothing, and I'm going to go for a bore nil all draw. Um, moving on to Dundalk against Sligo Rovers. Feel bad for Dundalk at the moment. Um, they must be absolutely knackered, traveling around Europe, playing games every couple of days. It must be so exhausting for them, and um, must be so drained at this stage. But they will keep fighting. They have top four secured. Um, but they would like a top three finish just to make sure of um of a European place. It won't be easy. Sligo, obviously they're playing against Sligo at home, so Sligo can still sneak into into fourth, so it'll be going they'll be going all out at Oriel Park for the win. Um, they've had a decent year, Sligo, obviously a bad start before lockdown. They came back rejuvenated and a couple of additions here and there. They look like a decent outfit and moving forward they could be good again next year. Um so yeah, I, I do think Dundalk will get over Thursday's disappointment um, really really annoying to see them lose against Rapid Vienna I think they could have at least got a draw from that so it's a big big blow but I think they will come back from that and win narrowly uh, I think they'll win 2-1 against Sligo moving on to St. Pat's against Bohemians St. Pat's are another side with a very outside share the top four they need to win this game and hope Waterford Sligo both lose obviously it's a possibility um, it's been another inconsistent year for Pat's it seems like that's been the way for the last couple of seasons O'Donnell deserves time to continue implementing his style of play and keep working with the players he's built he's brought in a couple of good youngsters so just keep give him time he'll keep he'll keep working there and I think the um, Pat could kind of settle in the top half of the table moving forward and um, I do think O'Donnell's a good manager though um, for Bose it's been a fantastic season second place guaranteed no matter what happens on the final day is an outstanding achievement from Keith Long and his side Chris Twardick I was really disappointed to see him leave of course it's a huge loss and it sounds like Andy Lyons could be moving across the pond as well so there will be a lot of work to do to rebuild the squad for next season but if there's any manager in the league that you could trust to unearth some gems and build a team back up it's Keith Long of course it's Keith Long he's brought in so many good players over the last couple of seasons that have done so amazingly for Bose and um, yeah I think there's going to be a bit of a job on there but I think uh, it's probably not the end of the departures either I could see a few more leaving the club the Mandrew situation's a bit unclear I think he'll be gone um, and I think uh, I mentioned Andy Lyons of course and Chris Twardick so there could be one or two others alongside them as well that could be targeted after this amazing season they've had the likes of Danny Grant I say has plenty of admirers so it's going to be interesting but I don't think there'll be much in this game at Richmond Park. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Um, now for the part of the video that I have been absolutely dreading. Who's going to occupy the relegation playoff spot? We'll start off with Finn Harps, who of course play host to Waterford, who themselves will be keen to secure top four, top four finish and potentially capitalise on a Dundalk slip-up to sneak third place. Um, Safe to say this game will be on a knife edge for 90 minutes. Won't be many goals in it, that's for sure. Both sides will be desperate to win and most likely play it safe for the most part. Uh, Ollie Horgan 
since the start of the season every year that he wants ninth place and he fancies his chances in the playoffs. So worst comes to worst, that's what they have, and it's been a decent year considering that that's that's the goal for them. Um, I do unfortunately have a feeling Finn Harps will sneak it one 0 I say unfortunately, I do like Finn Harps and Ollie Horgan. He's done a fantastic job there, um, but it's just at the expense of my team, isn't it? So yeah, it's it's not ideal. Like, but I do think I've I've a funny feeling Finn Harps will win. I'm going to go for a one 0 home win. Um, and when I say at the moment I have zero confidence in shells, I mean I have zero confidence in shells at the moment. I thought the FBI Cup would be the perfect opportunity to win comfortably against Athlone, secure a nice semi-final spot, while also boosting a bit of confidence uh, for the rest of the league campaign. Sometimes playing in the Cup can be a nice uh, way to boost league form and just build a bit of momentum maybe. Um, turned out to be quite the contrary, didn't it? Uh, rumours of a bust up in the dress room after the game just adds fuel to the rumours about Ian Morris's future at the club I'm not going to go into all that in this video um, we'll have plenty of time to assess his situation uh, and other situations around the club at the end of the season discussing it now uh, does more harm than good so for the next for the next week or so it's best off just not discussing it um, and let him get on with it and see what happens the only way I see Shells avoiding the playoff though is if Finn Harps fail to win against Waterford um, which if Finn Harps do fail to win obviously Shells have a two point lead at the moment if Finn Harps fail to win it will secure Shells a safety but at this moment I fancy a hungover tired Shamrock Overside but one day they play today and they're going to I'm filming this on the Saturday they're going to have the Sunday off which the video will come out on the Sunday they're going to have that day off and then they're playing on the Monday Um one day in between tired hungover whatever still fancy them to beat Shells 2-0 at Talker Park comfortable for Shamrock Rovers I think they'll have too much quality for them I know Shells went to Tala and nicked a point but I just think Shamrock Rovers will have too much for Shells and uh, Shells have just been awful awful as of late um, another point on the relegation playoff situation is I do I would fancy Finn Harps to beat Longford in the playoff but I wouldn't fancy Shells to do it at all in the form during at the moment that being said, we shall wait and see what happens. Um, I think Rovers will win at Talca Park, though. Um, I think we might do some sort of a... I think it's Monday night, half seven, all the games. So we might do some sort of LOI live uh, live stream covering all the matches on YouTube. So if you're interested in seeing that, guys, make sure to drop a like on it down below on the video here. And uh, let me know down in the comments below if you want to see that. Uh, greatly appreciate all your support. If this video can hit 50 likes, we will do that live stream. So yeah, that's a little challenge for you guys. Uh, we'd really appreciate your support. And uh, yeah, subscribe as well. We're looking to hit 2k as soon as we can. We really appreciate the support, guys. And yeah, also let me know your comments. Uh, let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts on all the games. And leave your predictions in the comments below as well. So yeah, um, hope you do enjoy the final, final day of the season, guys. And then um, hopefully... For my sake, it won't go to the following Saturday, but I think it might just do that. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in a bit.